Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest tutorials. Today we are diving into Angular 17 and I will be showing you how to navigate back and forward in your Angular applications. So let's get started. Angular provides a powerful router that makes it easy to manage navigation in your application. Navigating back and forward through your app is common requirement in Angular and Angular 17 has made it even more seamless. We will be using Angular's router and location service to accomplish this. So first make sure you already have Angular CLI installed and you have created your Angular project. If not, then please create your project first and then resume from here. Now let's create a simple navigation setup. We will have two components to navigate between. So let's generate these component by running the command ng generate component home press enter and now create another component called about so this will generate two different folders along with their component files next let's set up our routes in the app.routes.ts this file manages the routing configuration for our angular app now i will pass an object here with the properties path and component the path the path would be empty that means i am going to target the root url of my website and the component should be loaded that should be home component make sure to import the home component and after that i will add another route with the name with the path about and the component would be about component and it was imported as well we have defined two routes here the default route for our home component and a route for our about component. So let's add some simple navigation links in our app.component.ts. So I will delete everything in the app.component and instead of that I will add the nav tag. Within the nav tag I will add the a router link is equal to slash that will take you to the root URL of the website and the text should be home and now let's add the about link. And after that, we must have to add the router outlet because this is the component that will load all of the routes or their components into this. All right. Uh, now let's open the website in the browser. I already have started my server. You can start yours as well. So here you can see we have the home and about links, but currently these are not clickable. We add some separator between them. As well. Right now these are not uh, clickable. The reason is that this is an unknown directive for the app.component because we did not import the router module in the app.component.ts. As I'm using Angular 17 and standalone component, so I must have to import the router module in this way. After that change, you will notice that these links are clickable and if you click on these links, Angular, Angular will navigate to the respective comments. So you can see I'm on the about page. Now I'm on the home page. To enable back and forward navigation, we need to use Angular's location service. So first we need to import the location service in our app.component.ts. So here you can either use the constructor or you can use the inject function as well. So make sure to import the inject function from the angular slash core and then pass it the location service and make sure to import the location service from the angular slash common. So on the top, you can see that I already have imported all of the required dependencies. Now, after that, I need to define two functions back and forward. Okay. So we have defined two methods back and forward, which use the location service to navigate back and forward in the browser history. Next, let's add buttons in our template to call these methods. So go to the HTML file of this component and here I will add these buttons back and here I will register the, register the click event and that will basically call the back function that we just created and then we will have another button forward. So these buttons will allow users to navigate back and forward just like the browser's back and forward button. Now let's test our application and try navigating between them. 
using the links and the back and forward buttons. So let's suppose I'm going to the home and about page. Now, if you click on the forward and back, it will take you to the previous and next page. As you can see, clicking the back and forward buttons updates the view accordingly, allowing for a smooth navigation experience. That's it for today's tutorial on navigating back and forward in Angular 17. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Angular tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you want to read the written versions or articles of these YouTube tutorials, then you should visit iastech.com. That is the blog where I keep writing the written versions of all of my YouTube tutorials. Also, you may find other useful resources that you may like. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.